is George Galloway. George Galloway is not a robot. That is to say that George Galloway is not a calculating machine. George Galloway says what he means and means what he says on the radio, on television, on the street, even in the US Senate. And it is not like George Galloway can cure or cast diseases at will or poison up to 10,000 people a year to death. We will be asking George Galloway some questions. Please pay attention as reaction time is a factor. Question one. Do you prefer dogs or cats? Dogs Question two. Which is your favourite season? Summer, winter, or autumn? Summer. Oh, oh, spring. Oh. Spring is not an option. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair Campbell presents you with a dossier reassuring you of Iraq's WMD strike capability in a calfskin leather folder. What do you do? You are milling grain with one of the other villagers. You mention that the King of England is returning from Denmark. The ship's crew are storing live tortoises to make into soup later in the journey. The other villager suggests taking a cat and christening it. Bound to each part of said cat are the chiefest parts of a dead man and several joints of his body. And in this manner, raise a storm and drown the king. Later, the king's men apply the pillywinks to you, among other grievous tortures, but you do not confess. You are in a bar. You have ordered a katisa and are wearing a pale green Junko Shimada suit. You are fit and very aware of how the bar school presses itself against your firm flies, and this reminds you of the referendum. Later, after the togyu, you sit astride the bull, his thick hide taut over the muscles like the bar stool, he walks out into the ocean and together you secede. You are presented with a parable. It tells the story of a small dog who is befallen by many misfortunes before finally falling prey to a gang of female mice. The mice hang him by his toes for three days in order to drain him of his natural poison, which they collect in the shell of an oyster. The meaning of this parable is unclear to you. You seek out a figure of ecclesiastic authority in your community, but having asked for clarification, it occurs to you that this may be a test, and you leave before receiving an answer. Later, you have a dream in which all becomes clear to you. Penultimate question, it is noon, a little before noon. You are in Cairo, in the shop of a man you loved most. Here follow wild adventures, which you are unable to reproduce. Last question, you have done something irrevocable. <laughs>